Hello, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to TLC. Welcome to this little corner of Father's Vineyard. It's wonderful to have you here. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And for those of us that need rest, we pray that you're all able to get the rest you need us to. And for those of you who need to labor, we pray for you safety in your labors and wisdom in your choices. God's wisdom. Guys, I'm going to read out of the book of Psalms today, and I am in, let me see, I am in 32, yes, I'm in the 32nd chapter, all right. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. For when I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Selah. Therefore, let everyone who is godly offer prayer to you at a time when you may be found. For surely in the rush of great waters they shall not reach him. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule without understanding which must be curbed with bit and bridle or it will not stay near you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked. But steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous heart, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart.
Father, thank you for your words. Thank you for your promises. Thank you, Father God, for what you're doing right now in the lives of everyone who's listening and for the plans you've made for all of your people. Thank you, Father. Thank you for being holy. It just seems like I say the same words over and over, God. I, we just don't have words in our language to adequately praise you. Thank you for telling us that you'll instruct us and teach us in the ways we should go, that you will counsel us with your eye upon us. Thank you, Father, and for telling us not to be stubborn, but to stay near to you. Because your word says, even in verse 10 here, many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Father, our prayer is for all of our brothers and sisters in Christ, all of those you're calling. Our prayer is for the lost, that we would trust in you, that whatever it is that needs to happen in our lives to turn us around to face you and stop looking away and going our own way. That thing that would help us realize uh, the error of our ways and how lost we are without you. God, we pray for everyone in the body of Christ right now and for those you're calling, every one of them, Father, every one of us. May we be steadfast in our love. And we pray for your animals too. Almighty God, have your way. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Always and forever good always and forever faithful, always and forever holy. You are the righteous judge. Thank you for the gift of the sacrifice of your son. Thank you, Father. Bless us to remember to keep our, our garments clean. And when we sin, to quickly repent, to turn back to you and not to use that sacrifice as an, as an excuse or an opportunity to continue in sin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all of the people who have been so faithful in the body of Christ to help brothers and sisters, to help the lost. Thank you, Father God. We pray for all of those who are struggling with confusion or fear or doubt or unbelief. Help God. Thank you, Father. This day as we come before you, we lay down every gift you've given us and say, thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gifts you've given. We present them before your throne. You are the one who deserves all things. Tell us how to walk in what you've given us. Teach us what we need to know. Show us what we need to see. Tell us what we need to do. That we may be faithful stewards over every gift, every talent. And that we may remember always to abide in you. Holy God, we pray these things in the name of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. the Word of God. Amen. We love you guys. From all of us here in this little corner of Father's Vineyard, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, brothers and sisters in Christ and all who are searching. We pray you will find the one who gave his all for you as well. Lord willing, we will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.